Welcome back to the shop, friends. So I've been using my Harbor Freight five-speed drill press now for three years, and today I'm gonna to give you a full review of it. So why am I providing you a review of this tool after three years? Well, I think a lot of you guys are interested in Harbor Freight tools. And since I have one and I've been using it for so long, I think my review would be valuable to you. Just in case you're new, my name is Jim. This is my hobby woodworking channel. Here on my channel, you're gonna find build videos, tool reviews, tips and tricks, and more. So this is Essential Machinery 8-inch five-speed bench drill press. It's roughly $69.99 online, and oftentimes you can find coupons to get it cheaper. Some of the main features of the drill press include an adjustable table that locks in place, a death stop with gauge, a stamped steel base and table, a table that rotates 360 degrees and tilts 45 degrees left and right, and a heavy duty ball bearing motor. So a few more specs before we get going. 120 volts, 2.4 amps, and one third of a horsepower. So let's start out by taking a look at the footprint and the overall size of the machine. The drill press is 23 inches tall, seven and a half inches wide at the base, and 11 and a half inches deep at the base. In order for the machine to sit on your workbench without hitting the wall, you need 17 and a half inches, and that is from the back of the motor to the front of the switch. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the build materials for the machine. The base of the machine is made out of stamped steel along with the table. The drill press table measures six and a quarter inches square. The drill press column is chrome colored and appears to be a metal pipe. The head of the machine appears to be made out of some thin lightweight metal. You will find some plastic on the machine including the two switches and then the bottom of the motor. The feed handle has plastic knobs with metal rods with threaded insert. So now that you've got a good idea of the size of the tool and also the build quality and materials, let's go ahead and take a look at the functionality of the tool. The drill press table can spin a full 360 degrees around the column by just using this simple lever. Changing the angle of the drill press table is a little bit more difficult because you need a three quarter inch socket to loosen this bolt. But once it's loose, then you can move it side to side and you can move it a full 90 degrees. Setting the angle of the drill press table is a little bit difficult. All there really is is a small mark here and then you've got this um, gauge marker here that's just stuck on but over time it's pretty much beginning to fall off. There's also a small mark in the steel where you can line that up but I think probably a more accurate way of doing that would be just to use your square up against the, the drill bit. Next is the spindle stroke. You can actually move the spindle a total of two inches. And you can see here on this little diagram as it moves from zero to two. You also have these little locking nuts where you can set your depth. The drill press chuck will accept bits from one sixteenth of an inch to one half an inch. One feature that I really like is that it has a small lamp and I replaced the bulb with the LED bulb. So as I mentioned before, this is a five speed drill press. Now let me show you how you change the speed. So changing the speeds isn't all that difficult. You just loosen this bolt here and that loosens up the motor a little bit so you can move it. And then that allows you to move the belts down to the different speeds. The harder you pull on the motor, the easier it is to loosen the belts. They also provide you this handy chart that tells you the RPMs for each one of the settings of the belt. So then once you have your speed set, you can push on the motor a little bit to tighten up the belt and then re-tighten that bolt. There's also a spring there that helps keep it tight. So now let's put it to the test. I've got a couple different pieces of wood and a 3 8 of an inch bit. Let's drill into each one of the pieces of wood and we'll see how circular the holes are. This is a good test to know how tight the bearings are in the spindle. You can take a look at the cherry, the poplar, and the oak. And I think it's pretty clear that those holes are very circular. There doesn't seem to be any wobble in the spindle, at least not any major wobble. So now I've got a two inch Forstner bit in the machine. I think this is my biggest bit. I'm gonna go ahead and change my belt settings so I'm at the lowest speed.
So check that out. That's a two inch hole using a Forstner bit. That's a half inch piece of uh, birch plywood. That's a pretty tough job for any drill. I was able to bind up the spindle a few times, but actually it did pretty well. This is actually the smallest drill press in the Harbor Freight lineup. They have maybe six or seven of them and some of them are bench top drill presses and some are floor models. I mean, to be honest with you, for $69, I didn't have really high expectations for this tool when I bought it years ago, but it's been a pretty good tool for the shop. It's got a few limitations. I mean, it is a small machine, which is fine. I, I don't need a really big machine here in my shop. Another limitation is trying to get the table squared up to the spindle. I mean, that takes a little bit of work. It's sort of like the other Harbor Freight tool we reviewed recently. It just takes a little bit extra work to get that thing perfectly aligned. So after having this tool for three years, I'd buy it again. It's a great tool for my shop. I don't need a huge drill press in my small wood shop. Drill presses classically come with a small table, and that's primarily because they're used for metalworking. They need a bigger table for woodworking, and that's what I just built. Next time, I'm gonna show you how I built this brand new drill press table. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. If this video is bringing you value, please hit that like button. It would be awesome to get a thousand likes on this video. If you'd like to see another tour review, check this one out right now. I guarantee you'll like it.